Well, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's officially release date here in North America, which is very exciting. As you may have seen my video yesterday, I got the Australian release, which happened a day early. And today we have two events going on. One now has his tent set up. Let's go take a look-see-poo at that. And also our airport is open. So if we get enough miles up and going, we can actually uh, go visit some fun places. I actually happen to have a bunch of fish and butterflies in my inventory from yesterday. And Blathers needs a total of 20 things to, you know, build the museum. Luckily for us, he already has the five that we gave to Tom. So I'm here to make a donation. Oh, and you can choose to, to learn more about the thing that you just handed him. Which you never want to do unless you want to learn about specific fish and bugs. And unfortunately, at this point in the game, you can only donate one item at a time. And then once the museum is up and running, you can donate more than one item at a time. So Blathers went ahead and gave us the recipe for two essential items, the vaulting pole and the shovel. I gave him five more things. That means that we only have ten left. First things first, let's go craft our shovel. Oh, we have some mail. Oh wow, bunch of stuff. Mom sent us a present, thanks mom. And Happy Home Academy with a present. Thanks Happy Home Academy. Yesterday I ordered rain boots. I kinda hate them, they look like Uggs. The present from Happy Home Academy is a wooden end table. And the present from mom is three apples. Ooh, we could plant those and have apple trees. That's dope, thanks mom. And also our little hut is now upgraded to a house, which is amazing because we now have storage. So at any time you could hit X and then access your menu. And now if you want, just click it and put in storage. And there's now a designer mode that makes it super easy to move things around wherever you want them to be. And now realize how little furniture I have. <laughs> a flimsy shovel takes five hardwood. A vaulting pole takes five softwood. Oh, Tom Nook wants to talk to me. Ooh, he's gonna give us a free Nook Miles ticket. So now that the airport is open, the Nook Miles ticket is gonna bring us to a randomly generated island. On the randomly generated island, there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff that uh, I honestly want. In addition, there's going to be a random villager who we may add, choose to add to come to our village or island. And normally there are 2,000 Nook Miles, but the first one for free is pretty dope. Oh, and here it is. Timmy wants me to build a thing. He wants me to build the shop. This requires 30 wood, 30 softwood, 30 hardwood, and most difficultly, mo and the most difficult part, 30 iron nuggets. That's the, uh, that's the hard part, since I only have, like, the two rocks on the island. Alright, I'm just foraging right now, but I do want to hit this rock. Oh, it's a money rock today. Really need some iron ore. Ooh, is this a new rock? I think it's a new rock. With three iron nuggets. So from our rock scavenging, we got 12 rocks, two clay, and five iron nuggets. But that's just from going through our normal area, which now we have the pole vault, so now we can vault to all new places. We could dig these up. These are gonna be fossils. Awesome. Now, I, you see that green bug at the top right there? I once caught a bug from this bottom row. Most of the time, not though. Let's try it. Oh, nice. That did work. Maybe because he was on the closest flower. So we had to take a break halfway through foraging through the area because my inventory was full already between just everything I picked up off of the ground, mostly fruit. And Blathers is all like, oh my God, this is a fossil. Super awesome. And from now on, Blathers is going to be able to appraise the fossils and let me know what they are. Blathers really hates insects. Don't owls like exclusively eat insects? All right, sweet. I spent about 16 minutes foraging through the island, picking up the new weeds that have spawned anything new on the beach. And now I want to start making my way into setting up my grove. Now, what I want to do here is there's essentially like a like an unspoken grid in the game. If I were to look right here and dig, we can make a hole. Now I'm standing in the next spot, and then there's a spot there, and then there's a spot there. If I were to consume an orange, 
then I can face this tree and I can just dig it up and throw it in my pocket. Really weird, I know. And as you can see here, that's an orange tree, which is perfect. Now, I can plant them there and there, and then one, two, I can't plant them there. They can go as close as uh, one space away, meaning like I can plant it right here. They do start to clip a little bit, which is weird, but you know what, at the same time, now we can fit significantly more trees, know what I mean? And if we plant them that way, we could plant four across. We can stand right there, we can face back, and we can dig. And now we can actually start to lay out our grid. It's always a better idea to lay out your grid before you start planting. That way you have a much clearer idea as far as where everything goes. Being able to have this many trees and being able to harvest all these trees will be pretty fantastic. My overall goal here is that I want to have an orchard behind me and I would like to have a flower field in front of me. Now this is, this is a pretty interesting sight right here. I now also realize that there's a lot of green on my face because the monitor in front of me is literally mostly green. So this right here is a money spot where we could dig up a thousand bells. Now that thousand bells is categorized as an item. I think I can do that, and that makes a hundred bells into an item. And I think I can plant it, or I have to plant the thousand. Yeah, I can bury a hundred gold in the hole, and then it becomes a sapling. I don't know the return on investment. I just heard that this was a thing. You know what? I think it'd be a really nice touch with the apples that my mom sent me to plant those, but to plant them in a slightly different order from those trees. One, two, three. Perfect. Hey there, Timmy. I have a question. How much do these sell for? Let's sell two. So they sell for a hundred bells each. Five, six, seven. 77 is 14, 28, 56. Oh, hi, chicken. Oh, thanks. I needed this iron nugget. That's really helpful. Thanks, Goose. So with my orchard field here, I have 67 trees. And each tree produces me three fruit. So every time that there is a harvest, that is 20,000 gold. Wow, okay. We're not even done yet because we still need to go take the airplane and we very well could get new and great exotic fruit. Now with all these supplies, let's go to our first randomly generated island and see if we get something amazing. Maybe a really cool villager. Hi Orville of Dodo Airlines. You also have a mail service, pretty awesome. And a card stand. Time for takeoff. Finders, keepers, protocol here, lumber, fruit, fish, whatever, it's yours. Great. Anything that we leave here stays here, and we can never ever come back to it because it's procedurally generated and it's a one time thing. Oh, and it's oranges. Is that pronounced hyacinth? I have no idea. I've never seen that word before in my life. But most importantly, there's rocks, and I'm gonna hit it, hit it with my axe. Because today, we are getting all the iron ore that we need. Period. No, no conversation. Uh, we do have coconut trees on the beach, which is nice. We can take those coconuts and we can sell them. Yeah, this takes a lot more room in our inventory this, this way, doesn't it? It'd be, it'd make a lot more sense just to plant the saplings. Or the, uh, the coconuts. <laughs> Cause that's two trees. Bertha. Uh, you should move to my island. Such a great idea. Great. Yeah, yeah, you'll love it there. I'm serious. Yeah, contact Tom Nook. Awesome. Wow, that is a lot of fish in there. I've never seen so many fish in a small fishing pond like that. 
Well, only one goes for it. What is that? Oh, it's a tadpole. Did not mean to wear that plant. And you know what? Since we're on this remote island, and we're never ever coming back here, we might as well eat an orange and break this rock at the chance that we're gonna get something good. Like a bonus piece of iron ore or just another stone. <laughs> and I decided I'm pretty much gonna fill my inventory with five white plants, five yellow plants, five red plants. I'm just gonna grab the coconut trees in addition to the coconuts and I accidentally put this flower in my hair. So I decided I would make a Bulbasaur shirt because I feel very nature-y right now. We're really on a hunt for iron nuggets. That's, that's why we went there in the first place. I decided to plant all of my remaining oranges over here. We planted the uh, <laughs> the coconut trees along here and now I realize how giant and lush they are and maybe I should have spaced them out better vertically. But then I planted all the coconuts down here so it's gonna be just as lush on the beach, which seems weird. I might change that in the future. I'm not really too sure yet. Then I decided to take all of the flowers and plant them in a three by five pattern right here, red, white, and yellow. I don't know if that's a country or anything. If it is, shout out to your country. Oh no, I didn't want to grab the tiki torch. Oh, hi bear. Thanks for trampling my flowers, Paula. Hey, what's the latest? Yeah, I'm getting stuff together for a shop. You gonna give me more iron nuggets? Oh, it's a shovel. Great. Wait, what? Did you just give me the better shovel? Oh yeah, she just gave me a good shovel. Awesome. Thanks, bear. Now please don't step on my damn flowers again. Thanks so much. After visiting Blathers, I decided to take a look at my Nook Miles because we need a whole bunch in order to get another ticket so we could go to another island and once we're at the additional island, we're gonna be able to get more iron nuggets and we have enough, perfect. So I did it, finally did it. I was pretty sure you could catch a wasp. You just need to be really fast. You also, uh, like for me, every time that I tried to access it through my inventory, it didn't work. So instead I just have it programmed. So if I hit right, that's going to go from my ax to my net. And I was actually able to do it. Well, I was stung. And then immediately after I was stung, you could even see me druzy here. I got myself the second wasp's nest. Wow. Wow. You see that pro gamer move right there? Ugh. Commemorate this event. It's time to change my outfit once again to a Beedrill tank top. And yes, I know that Beedrill is a bee, not a wasp. All right. My inventory is pretty stripped down, so let's head on side of Dodo Airlines. Make our way to another randomly generated island. I need 10 more iron nuggets. That's it. Just 10. Now, I do have enough Nook Miles to buy a third ticket today. Although I really, really hope that, uh, <laughs> that this is gonna have enough rocks and those rocks are gonna have enough, enough iron nuggets. Okay, we have a lot of bamboo and a, a is that a deer? I, I don't know exactly what, an antelope? So if this is bamboo, are these bamboo shoots in the ground here? Yep, they sure are. Looking back at, uh, at yesterday's video, there's comments on there, it's like, Austin talking to us like we don't know anything about this game. And then the next comment is like, I didn't know anything about this game. Big money, no whammy. Big money, no whammy. Okay, we're at three. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, only four. And my axe broke. Will bamboo drop, uh, will, will this drop sticks? I don't know if it will. I don't think this is. Oh, it's a reindeer. Look, look at its, its sweatshirt, it has reindeer. It's an ugly Christmas sweater. I would like a reindeer on my island. 
Yeah, yeah, come visit my island. Yeah, I'll be waiting for you. Thanks, Mr. Reindeer. And a message in a bottle. An ironwood dresser. That sounds very expensive to make. Oh, that's like a pink prey mantis. You may not be able to see it. My face is covering up the, uh, the flower it's on. Now you see it. Heat. An orchid mantis. Our friendship is blooming. I need some tools. Oh, that's very reasonably priced. A pro tip on yesterday's video said for someone to, someone said, uh, shovel out of space there and there. And then I guess I could position myself between the two and I can attack the rock. Oh yeah, and I'm not pushed back at all. He said they were able to achieve nine this way. I don't know if they were talking about this game or the previous game. It's still eight. But it's nice not having to, like, come back at all. After a lot of adventuring and exploring today, I think I finally have everything that Blathers needs for the museum. In addition, I have 30 wood, 30 hardwood, 30 softwood, and 30 iron nuggets. So we're going to be able to help Blathers and Timmy. I do believe this means, yes, huzzah, hooray, we have acquired the number of specimens required. My feathers... I'm at a loss for words. Never would I imagine we would reach our donation goal on the very second day of playing this game. I believe at this time he cannot take any donations. Yeah, he cannot take any donations at this time. He can assess fossils, which isn't the most helpful thing. And he says that the museum is gonna be open tomorrow. So anything that could be a creature that I, you know, might need to donate, I'm just going to put in the storage. Hi, Timmy. About building a shop. Right now we're asking residents to donate stuff. Well, you know what? I'd like to donate. You brought in, oh my, you brought in everything we need all at once. Yep, these are for you. Please take a glass holder with candle, a blue camel wall, and a blue tile wall. Huh, great, thanks. Since we have all the materials, we can start construction on the shop. Uh, I believe I get to pick where it goes. Yep, I sure do get to pick where it goes. The shop construction kit. I believe Timmy and Tommy are going to be located here from now on. So anywhere I choose, that's going to be the new place that we have to go to them. You know what? I kind of like right here. Yeah. Yeah, that is a really solid location for it. Love it. Boy, I really can't wait till I get pathways. I did the thing you wanted. They're gonna open tomorrow. Great. I think it's time that we now buy the pretty good tools. Because I've already, like, broken 30 regular tools. So, I was just doing some casual grinding, and, uh... <laughs> I was reading over comments of episode one, and first of all, thank you guys for the support for a video that... or a, a, a series that I didn't think I was gonna cover. Like, you guys have been great. But someone said something that I completely overlooked. So it's a very common gamer mistrope that when you're on a menu screen, if you feel like you're confident with the controls, you don't look at all the controls. But Timmy, what's for sale? If I hit the R button, it then goes to the miscellaneous pocket. For some reason, I didn't realize that this was one category when it was furniture, and I could get a slingshot right here. I could have probably gotten this on the first day. In addition to getting an axe and getting a shovel. And look, roses that I didn't know that I could buy, tulips, different flowers, saplings, the recipe for a slingshot. Ah, uh, look, look, so many things. Great, it's a recipe for the slingshot. What is DIY for beginners? Oh look, I have an ocarina, some blocks, an old fashioned wash tub, a stool, a frying pan, a hay bed. I don't think I wanna sleep on hay. That doesn't sound very comfortable. I don't know what a cedar sapling is and I don't know what a regular sapling is. I assume a regular sapling is a hardwood tree, but I don't know what a cedar sapling is. So let's try that out. 
We're just gonna plant the cedar sapling right there. With the colors red and white, I just came up with an amazing, amazing, amazing idea. It's gonna be such a waste of time and effort, but it's going to be amazing. Now we can go into custom designs. We could change the design. We can make it all gray. Light, I wish that was a little bit darker of a gray, but that's okay. Now I know once you have like the paving kit and everything, this is significantly easier and faster. Or the landscaping kit, whatever they call it. Okay, so I guess I need to be below it. Yeah! We got a drying rack. I hate it. If I go in here and I change the design, does that change it live? Like on the ground? Oh my god, it does. You should have a very good idea on what I'm doing by now. <laughs> if not, I don't know what to say. Yeah, shout out to Piper Jarvanen, uh, who was the person who left the comment on the video and told me about this. Uh, otherwise, I would be traveling to so many islands to get flowers, wouldn't I? Okay, I did it. I did it. Boom. Johto. And... Boom. Wow. Look at that. That is a Pokemon trainer if I've ever seen one. <laughs> oh my god. You know, this seems good of place as any for us to wrap up our island for today. We have our giant Pokeball full of flowers that in, what, like one or two or three days that's gonna look beautiful. We have even more flowers and more flowers, and we have our entire orchard here just ready to flourish and be beautiful, full of oranges and there's some apples. I eventually want to get all the fruit and do all the fruits in rows here. That would be kind of like the end game goal. We also have the bamboo back there, and we have the coconuts on the beach. <laughs> we, we got a lot done today. So much done. And I want to thank you for checking out this video. I, I got stung by a wasp again, or I just, I don't know, I'm just always stung by a wasp, all right? But yeah, guys, if you're enjoying this series, do me a favor, hit the like button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.